Okay, my name's Judith, and I was sent here pretty well crippled from an earlier automobile accident, 18 broken bones, uh, two years of concussion, uh, and then I have a little horse. And I ride that horse, and he watched where his feet were, and I didn't. He dodged, I didn't, and I flew right off at a full gallop. Now, that really uh, did send me to some help. I figured my skeleton and my muscles were in bad shape. Now, I'm pretty close to 79, going on 80. And I'm not supposed to be doing these things, but life to me is being outside, it's being riding, it's, it's riding with friends, uh, walking. I, I like an active life, and I travel a lot. Uh, this is uh, something that people do anyway, but I carry my own suitcase. Well, I came here. And I didn't know what to expect. I hoped they'd straighten out my skeleton because I was walking like this. Uh, but, um, and the other thing was, is I was hurt and I have rheumatoid arthritis and I have atrial fib. Um, it's not a lot of fun. I also am short of breath. Uh, all the 80 year old problems. Now, what did they do for me? Behold me drug free not any treatment at all for the rheumatoid arthritis. Um, behold me riding my horse pain-free, galloping, jumping. Uh, behold me walking without pain and, and healthy. All right, they have done three things for me that I think are wonderful. The first one is, yeah, the chiropractice. Uh, it told me where the bones weren't. And also it gave me some help that through exercise and a little bit of straightening sometimes, but a lot of exercise and the proper diet, I would be okay. And they knew about all of these things. The people were pleasant. I liked them a lot. And they knew what they were doing. They're trained. So I took a little bit of chiropractic and a little bit of exercise on those machines, a little bit of uh, physical therapy, the heat when things got too wrong, and also they told me, and they have a whole course on it, which I will hope to take someday, about nutrition and vitamins and supplements. How to put together kind of a, a, a good mix of them. And I became a very heavily plant-based. I'm not a vegetarian, but I watch what I eat. And I had a little, you know, a word here, a word there, and now my whole um, diet has changed. I eat an awful lot. I really do. I'm turning into a salad, I think, sometimes. But you know what? You can do things besides that. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I'm riding my little horse, and my little horse has had some chiropractic problems, too, and he's getting better. Why? because I've learned massage, and they can do that here. They know about those kinds of things, and I had a little guidance here on that too. So I've got a new business. Well, what can I say about them? They're great, and um, they've been very kind to me. I don't think they run into patients as old as I am, uh, <laughs> but they've been darling. <laughs> so that's my story. And I do hope that it will help others avoid surgery. That you do not want. Avoid medicines as much as you can. Now, some of them you're gonna need, maybe, but to keep them down to a minimum. Don't eat the junk that is being sent to us, and these people know how to do that painlessly. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, I started this thing at, 170 pounds. Behold me at a healthy, non-working, um, I haven't been working in a diet, uh, uh, behold me at 140 pounds and pretty fit. So I guess that's why I said I'd do a testimonial. 